fellow Indians, particularly to the youths of our great nation. Why Rahul Gandhi matters in young India for India's future? Much before I formally get associated with Indian National Congress, I had a few occasions where I heard Rahul Gandhi speaking on different subjects. It was predominantly at Jawahar Bhavan, New Delhi, where I used to frequent to listen to him and interact with him publicly. The year I joined my college, where he also studied, was the year when he also had his maiden entry to parliament as a member in Lok Sabha. Mr. Rahul Gandhi joined the college decades back before I joined the college. We from the college look up at him as the future of our young India. We did not discuss much about the Congress then as we were indeed overwhelmed by the highest number of members of parliament present in the then Lok Sabha from the college. It was the then Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh's daughter residing in the college as the university's professor in history, the coming back of Dr. Sasi Tharoor to India for an election to the United Nations Secretary General, news on two ministers, namely Natwar Singh and Mani Shankaraya, both formerly at Indian Foreign Service from the college and the newly discovered auditory of Kapil Sibyl that were the foundations of our post-dinner informal discussions at our college residence with our fellow junior members from across the nation and a few from abroad. Besides intellectually grooming and socially maturing with our college friends from political families of India, I grew up reading letters of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to his daughter Indu during my childhood. It was essentially the reading of such profound letters that have met a deep sense of values for humanity and inspiration from our nation's freedom struggle and sacrifices made by Nehru Gandhi family for our nation to my young mind and soul. My interactions with Rahul Gandhi in Delhi have moved me to feel his aura of being humble and optimistically thinking about our youths and young India. He, like his father Rajiv Gandhi, loves innovative ideas with no prejudice whatsoever. His initiative on proposing a separate Union Fisheries Ministry of India has given me a responsibility to lead our Notice India at All India Congress Committee through All India Fishermen Congress. Today, as we see our nation being unprecedentedly disturbed by the rising brutality of an undeclared national emergency, the youths have been forced to come on streets to decide their own future. The question is, shall we accept this blatant exercise of normalizing tyranny of majority by suppressing the voices of young India? I see Rahul Gandhi undoubtedly as a principal leader with a compassion for humanity and serious concern for young India. We, as the youths of our nation, are privileged to live and be a part of this 21st century that will shape the, niche, the notion of climate change, international cooperation for mutual existence, intergenerational sustainability of ecosystem, emerging advanced technology, human genome mapping, interplanetary travel and concept of global citizenry, which will give birth to the dawn of the next 22nd century. Our civilization is old as mankind, but our nation is young. The majority of the population of today's India is the youth of our nation. The aspiration of our youths that represent our young India transcend parochial minds and irrational actions. Today's youths live to exist with dignity and meaning to their life towards humanity. Injustice anywhere across the planet is an injustice to our youths. Our nation 
being a youthful nation has to take more commitments and understanding towards solving and resolving the global issues. Our young India will be the light of the next 22nd century for our planet. Therefore, we the youths have a say not only for our nation but also for the future world. This is where we need a true, committed, honest and principled young leader. And that young leader is what I not only see but can also deeply sense in Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi's vision, to my understanding from interacting with him, is for the future of our young India and our planet. Like his great-grandfather Jawaharlal Nehru, his understanding and friendship with the world's statesmen and leaders will be significantly valued while shaping the evolution of our planet towards making it as a better and inclusive home for all the beings. His love and respect for the people, the culture, the attire, the foods, the weather and the history of the Northeast India has been beyond any iota of doubt. Like his grandmother Indira Gandhi, who learned Manipuri classical dance at Santiniketan, where she was deeply influenced by Rabindranath Tagore's philosophy, her grandson Rahul Gandhi also has an emotional connect with the culture and people of Manipur. He connects with everyone, including those who hate him. He loves those who hate him. He has no enemy. And this philosophy of loving everyone is the natural energy that reverberates across our young India because our youths today believe in friendship and mutual understanding for peaceful coexistence for all of us in the planet. This positive energy is a source of inspiration to be imbibed by many in our nation as it carries the message of love that prevails over the tyranny of hate. This is where our nation will march forward to and that is why the nation will accept the leadership of Rahul Gandhi in the making of our young India, a better India for tomorrow's better world. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.